worry, not a tent. If you want to go camping, Dad will take you. Won't you, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yahoo! Nasha, we're going camping! Yes, yes. Fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So, what did you do in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognizing all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles. Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, look what you've done to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny-looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... Now put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasha. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. Of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed! And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. 
Oh, well, uh, let, let me think. That? Ah! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh back off, Billy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Gives me an idea, though. I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. But if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oops. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Dad! <laughs>
on. Where are you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, Pie Face. Savor the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, hey, all right, let's go! School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely he can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <laughs> Colonel, has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. For some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike... A month! ..and I cycled through some wet cement. Six months! ..and some thorny bushes. Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! Oh. This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded! I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis! It's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room! You too, Nasha. <laughs> now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Here are your stray pups. Oh. I caught these two 
who tried to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. In here. I've got to get out. But I can't, because everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for. So, if they can't see me... Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. I'm out of the house. And no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Hmm, it's quiet. Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Oh, Crowning Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm... There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it. But only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh! Dennis! And now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! Yes, B, it's a horsey. No, what lie? The 
Then why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Percy? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. <laughs> What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, B. I'm doing my best. Loves. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. B, I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussie! Hussie! That's right. Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! Be no! Hussey, eat! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child fill up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky. Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south-southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. Where are horsey. Father!
got a horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. before we get into any more trouble. Well, see! <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. <laughs> So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seems to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Grand! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Yay! <laughs> Never forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. Except, perhaps, a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. Oh, this is boring. Yeah, 
I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. <laughs> you guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya! Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes, many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> What is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it! <laughs> Looks like they want to race! <laughs> Faster! Stroke! 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 <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, hi, Walter. What's up? Pull that canoe over! I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest! The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, we may have a problem here. Go back! I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh, no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! Go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet. Follow me. Get us down from here. Wow. We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named... Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Children are missing. Oh, we have to call the authorities. There's no time. 
Squid could be eating their brains as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! Oh. Time to have some fun! Their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. Okay, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We're starved. How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long. Wait, Curly. What about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it... <gasps> it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <clears throat> yes. Almost there. Finished! Ha! Ah, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued! Which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war's started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. Under control. I declare this land carnal country. Dennis? We 
have someone we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Uh, uh, Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr. Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr. Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> Look, he's smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any more of this. Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the contemplation kennel. <sighs> and we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, oh, got to go. See you later, Den. You'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? <sighs> I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... <laughs> time, Denny Rainbow. And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> okay, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can. 
Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. You got to take a note to curl him pie face. Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yogurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know. If he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right! You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, is going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walter's, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me! I'm Brainy! Can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter? Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Den. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Of course not, Dad. <laughs> Result. <laughs> <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> All right! It's Saturday! <laughs> <laughs> Steady 
on. It's not our fault, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday. And after that, tidy your room. You two, go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to Crack Crimes and Solve Mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to Solve Mysteries. Cool. There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box. Out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? A private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <laughs> This afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Hop a whiff of that natural pal and she, if you can't, sniff out the culprit. <laughs> to the treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> Nice work, Nasher. Looks like the trail might end right here. So that's what Nasher was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom ti tom tom tra <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Teapot Rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? <laughs> teapot? Loot? I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <laughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs. Creature has a vast collection. <sighs> ah, this is the life. Nice and quiet. A pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. 
Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollfish. But you're not out of the frame until we've found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you can't come in here uh, to Colonel's orders. No Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why, uh, thank you. I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! Back there, you even mutt! Oh, all that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot! That's right! No teapot! Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! What are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> My best choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Butch over a beagle! Thanks, oh. <laughs> Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! It's been a blast! It sure has! Sweet cheeks! It all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents. That's one mystery I'll never solve. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>